Taylor bowls and there's an edge is there yes there is the umpire Neil Mallander took a little bit of time to raise the finger but he did in the end I think he was just waiting for Matthew Fisher to walk off as Moriarty over the wicket Hammond comes down the pitch and hits over the top and that's going to go all the way into the Howard stand for six runs um, Moriarty Oh, Hammond uses his feet and he's got enough on this to take it a long way up into the tavern and stand for six runs. Just smartened it up, doesn't it? Taylor Bowles driving his rev. It's a square drive out towards deep backward point. It's the longest part of the ground and it's going to tease Rulofsen, but he may as well give it up. As Matt Taylor comes in then from the Howard stand end, left arm around the wicket, lovely shot by Revis, just leans into this. And nothing more than a push through the offside but one of his high scores Revis yeah and he swept that one nicely that's going to be four more from the moment he left the bat in front of square so Charles with then right arm over Revis opens the face and runs that through point and the applause will tell you that that is his third first class 50 made 50 against Kent here in April of last year 53 not out his highest score made that against Warwickshire here ready for the next ball which is coming now, and he's pulled this one, and he's pulled that for six runs. Brilliant out shot. Over mid-wicket. Last ball of the over. Oh, he's backing away, chopping this one over the top of the leaping Ollie Price at slip, but I don't think it was particularly close to him in the end, and there it is, 450 for Yorkshire. Reverse sweep. There's no problem with that from Revis. That'll be four more with no third man, no short third man. Revis is into the 60s. Price in and has been edged and superbly caught at slip. It's a second wicket for Ollie Price. Liam Dawson 141, Nick Gubbins 120. Slog sweep comes out from Revis. He's got that one high and away over mid wicket. I saw a seat just bend forward about three rows back there. And Steckett is gone. Zaffa drawing him out of his crease there and he's trying to waft that one away through the leg side. Zaffa in again. It's a good length delivery, that's it. Matthew Revis has a first, first class century. He clenches his fist and removes his helmet to celebrate and thank all those who are applauding him out there in the middle because that's been a super knock for nine and he comes down the track and he's driven this one straight back past Zaffa struck it very very <laughs> firmly indeed along the carpet all the way to get himself off the mark lovely shot by the way there by Chris Dent opening the face and putting it away backward of point yeah here's Leach again wide of off stump nicely played it probably got what it deserved there just too wide from Don Leach 50 the following morning they wouldn't have got those as uh, this is right up there in the slot and driven through extra cover by Ben Charlesworth. Nicely placed, just uh, over pitching. As Jordan was saying, that's OK. But on this occasion, he's drawn him out wide of the crease, hasn't he? That was the key. Come back to that because Charlesworth is down the pitch and hitting this one high in the air, down the ground, and look out in the Howard stand. That is six. Moriarty is in, struck on the pad, this looks close, given out. Neil Mallander raises the finger straight away, no hesitation. And Dan Moriarty is struck, key wicket right on the stroke of T. Justin Langer. <laughs> oh, that's, what's that Ooh. come off? Yorkshire think that's out, it's gone to first slip. He did a, Jonathan did an outstanding job. Moriarty bowls to Hammond, who hits this one high in the air, and that is a spectacular six over extra cover. Moriarty in round the wicket, bowling to Van Buren. It's short, Van Buren's tried to pull that one away, and he has not yet been given out. Now he has. Um, Moriarty. Oh, Hammond uses his feet, and he's got enough on this to take it a long way up into the tavern and stand for six runs. Um, most evenings, I think, this week. Saturday matinee as well. Oh, sure. uh, good shot here by Hammond, though. That's tossed up outside off stump. And uh, Once again, he's been keen on using his feet. Not sure Finlay Bean would have been that keen. Another one to come in uh, about ten minutes for BBC York. But I'll give uh, Gidders a go for the moment as uh, Miles Hammond has whacked another six, this time off Adam Lythe. Night Hawk, Night Watchman, as that's a beauty from Lytho, he's got him. He has got him, and that's exactly what's going to happen now. Bracey 
leaning forward into a defence and he's just got a feather through behind the stumps 